When we took over the club at St Mern, um a year and a half ago, uh, the stadium hadn't really been changed since it was built in 2009, so we looked at various different things we could do to turn the stadium more into a home. One of the things we looked at was the tunnel. The tunnel hadn't been touched since the day we moved in, so we just felt we wanted to do something to make it a bit special. So for my, my background is obviously construction. Um, I'd worked with Viral in my days when I owned the uh, Laidlaw Scott, so I knew they were capable of doing what I wanted to do, providing the quality I was looking for in the tunnel, um, so it was a perfect match. Gordon came to me, uh, Gordon Scott, the chairman, and he uh, said they were interested in doing the players' tunnel. That got me really excited because it's the real heart of the club, I felt. It's the area between the changing room and the pitch, the last bit that the players go through. And so I was really wanting it to be something where we could show off what we could do. So the Earth Turner team mantra is very much part of the football club, so as part of that we went to the fans and we asked them through Twitter and Facebook what they would like to see in the tunnel, what events they recognise from the club's history as being key. We employed uh, Ken Doig of Gate Creative, who's a graphic designer that Rero have used for nearly 20 years now. So that was the challenge for Ken, to try and come up with a design that would fulfil all these desires of, of the fans and, and the board. And we're trying to foster stronger links between the club and the town, um, so we used the Paisley pattern as a background. Uh, we took all the kind of key events in the club's history, all the times we've won trophies, and um, we tried to fit in like the top goal scorer, the guy who's made the most appearances for Scotland. So again, we worked with Vero and looked at the design. We looked at loads. I mean, we spent hours looking through pictures, trying to get the right things that would work. So Ken used the, the famous Paisley pattern as a background. It was a kind of logical thing to do. Uh, and obviously try and create the kind of black and white feeling that the club strip is. There's been a lot of things that um, we thought would help towards uh, creating a far better fan experience and this the tunnel is part of it. Even the, the reaction we've had from social media as well, people have seen it, think it's brilliant. It's probably one of the few things we've ever done at the club that's had uniform um, kind of acceptance and everybody's been happy with it. We do have quite a bit of experience of working in sports stadia. We've done lots of uh, stadia across the UK, lots of different football grounds and we've always tended to use uh, for Michael laminates because we found these finishes work really well in these environments. They obviously are durable, hard wearing, but they're also easy to clean and we can get striking imagery in the definition of them. From my point of view, for Formica was the obvious choice to go to for this uh, material. We needed a hard wearing surface, something that was easy to clean. They produce some of the highest, best definition laminates in the world. And it's UK manufactured, which was important to us as well. So we were able to work very closely with them. We have years of experience of working with Formica and we could work with their uh, unique team very closely on trying to get the images properly scaled into the right resolution. So we found that relationship was invaluable to get the project delivered on time and to everybody's satisfaction. Just to give it a bit of feature, we actually projected the St Mern logo out 30mm from the wall panel. So it gave that impression of the club stepping out of the Paisley pattern background. I felt that was a really effective way to use the Formica laminates and strengthen the whole design aspect to it. It just lifts us to a new level. It takes, it's, it's a difference between a championship tunnel and a Premier League tunnel. Really, that, that's what it is. You need to keep changing things for players to actually be simulated all the time. You need to look at all the things. You need to kind of let them realise what it means to be part of some own football club, to be part of the Premier League. And that, the, what we've done to the tunnel, Players now walk out there now and you can see it just lifts them, it lifts the fans, we have it in the big screen, it just lifts everybody at the club and it's, it's perfect for what we're trying to achieve to take the club forward.